Hi everyone, this is Linda, and we're going to create this Happy Easter banner using the MySoNet software, and we're going to take, bring in a MySoNet library design in to um, create the actual banner. We're going to learn about creating the banner using some quilting, and we're going to do the Express Design Wizard. If you per don't purchase the design, you have to do it this way. Um, we're going to use the quilt block wizard. We're going to rotate it and move it around. I filmed it using my Sonet Platinum, but it can also be done in gold if you purchase the design. Supplies are here, and in the bottom in the description, I will actually have a link on stitching out previous banners, and the process is basically the same for those. So this is what your design is going to end up looking like. So just so you know, this happens to be a library design from the MySonet library. Everything else was done in the software, in the MySonet software itself. If you slide over here on the left-hand side during the, in the film strip, you notice the first one says library. That is actually a library design. This is my quilting. This is my wording. And this is done, this was rosemary, I think. And then this is from the frame tab. And then this outside edge is actually just stitching to sew everything together. If you look at the Linda Stitchens YouTube channel, there is a video on making the banners and because I've been doing making the banners for a couple of years now. So just so that you know, um, the video is on how to actually stitch this all together is out there. But what I want to do is actually show you something about a library design. If you are not purchase the actual design and I'm going to take this and I want to take this guy and I'm going to copy him right mouse and I'm going to copy him I'm going to run it through the quilt block wizard this is what it will happen if you don't either purchase it or if you don't do this other method I'm going to show you I've got my hoop already set up that are the size of the design I want to go I'm going to do next and I'm going to do paste and I'm going to do next and if you notice, there is this big square around the outside edge. Even if I change this to zero, I am still going to have a square around here and I'm not going to get any quilting into this area, which is where I really, I want my quilting to be as close to this as possible. So I kind of give this like a trapunto kind of look. But the other thing I want you to notice is if I change and I turn this, the embroidery design does not change. It still stays right there where it is. So if I do next, this is here. If I do finish, the design didn't change. Um, I don't want it like that. I want to get this, night, this quilting as close in as possible here. So I'm just gonna delete that guy so he's off here. So to do this, we kind of have to fool it into doing something else. But first, let's go get the embroidery library design. Or, sorry, the MySoNet library design. So we're going to go here, and I'm, at, I'm already logged in. I've already into my account. I've actually found this design that I want to use. I have a couple of ways to do this. I can do, um, I can purchase the design and send it to my um, shopping cart. I can save it as a favorite to be used at later time. I can send it to the cloud to be used some at another time again. And this is actually going to let me send it other places. Other thing you need to pay attention to for this whole process is this area here. So if you notice this 171.5 millimeters is the height of this design and that's going to be really important for what we're going to do. So I'm going to actually choose the airplane. It's going to either send it, this is happens to be going to the my to my Premiere Plus 2 software. This goes to another tablet that I have. This is going to my sewing machine, and this is actually going to the my SoNet software. So I'm going to choose that one. It's going to tell me it's sent. And when it's there. So I now have it in my SoNet. Now, if you notice, the grid lines are gone, and I need to add those back in just so you can kind of see how you do that. You're going to go to the View tab, and you're going to, you can have grid on, grid off, but I need it off for what we're going to do. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure that your hoop is set up the size you want it. 
the frame I'm using actually is uh, 178, I'm sorry, yeah, seven inches tall by 10 and a half inch, I'm sorry. The frame I'm going to use is 178 millimeters wide or seven inches uh, by a height of 10 and a half inches or 267. So I actually couldn't remember what something was, so I could actually put in two 10.5 inches and it automatically will convert it for me to the millimeters. I'm gonna do okay. So I now have this design here all sitting all by itself and I need to take it and I'm going to click outside of the area because I'm going to use this thing called snipping tool. Snipping tool is part of Windows. Um, if you need to do a search on it, there is a video in my so in the Linda Stitchens group Facebook page on how to use snipping tool. So I'm going to do a snipping tool and I'm going to use that to capture a picture. So I'm going to click on my snipping tool that happens to be in my taskbar. I'm going to do new and I want to get it as large as I possibly can. So I'm going to click, hold and drag and I'm just going to be just inside those little blue lines and I'm going to let go. I don't have the little blue lines, those corner markers and I'm going to do copy. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to minimize this. So now what I want to do is I'm actually going to create a dummy design here for the purposes of doing what we want to do. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to express design, express design into hoop, and I just want the border. And I'm going to do next. I'm going to do paste my picture. So I have my picture here. Next, I want to select all. So I get the whole design here. Then I'm going to do next. And because this is kind of one of those designs that has a lot of little extra little things in here, I'm going to slide this all the way so it's black and then slide back just a little bit so it kind of darkens my outside edges on this. I'm going to do next. I want to do enter my design size and I want a specific design size and I want it set for the height and the height I want my design to be is that 171.5 millimeters that I told you to pay attention to, 0.5. And I make sure that it's done in this order. You say enter design size, you can make sure your hoop is selected, make sure it's to that 178 by 267 height of your design and then type in the um, size you want it. And we're gonna do next. And it looks really funny here. I only want to do a straight stitch because I'm just looking at the outside border. I'm not even gonna keep it in the end. The other thing I don't want is I don't want an applique. So what this is doing is it's just looked at the outside edges of my design and I'm gonna do finish. See, this fits right over the top of that and I'm going to need this when we get ready to do this next thing. So this is the design I actually want to use in my wizard in order to create that quilt block. So I'm gonna do a right mouse and I'm going to do copy. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to my quilt block. I'm gonna do filled quilt block with an inner embroidery, do next. Again, I wanna make sure that these sizes are the same as what we were doing before. And I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna paste that design. It's just looking at the outside edge of that area. Next. I want this really, really, really close. But first, I'm gonna actually take and I'm gonna drag this down here towards the bottom left, and I'm going to rotate it just a small amount so I can actually play with this a little bit. But I kinda wanted it to be turned just a little bit, and I kinda wanna make sure it's a little bit more on the left. And then the other thing I wanna do is I wanna put this only at one millimeter. So what will happen is it will create these stitches all the way around the outside edge of my design. So now I'm going to do next. Now pay attention to this. That was 249 is what I want to pay attention to. So when I rotate my other design, I rotate it to the correct spot. I'm going to do next. It's going to do stippling. I don't want to do stippling. I'm going to actually make it set for the diamond. And you could set this to about what you wanted. 25 is about one inch. You could do 20. I like to change my stitch length to be about a three because I'm going to be going through um, batting in, um, 
of top fabric. You could leave it about 2.5, but I wouldn't go much lower than that. And then I'm going to do OK. So it's kind of spread that out just a little bit. And I'm going to do finish. If you notice, my design is actually over here on the left hand side, but I, or the quilting is over here on the left hand side and I don't want it over here. I need to get this so it's in here. But first, Let's ungroup this. So I'm going to do a right mouse and I'm going to ungroup because I don't need that anymore because what it did is it kept that design that I pasted in there. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm also going to get rid of this one. Now that's not my library design. My library design is here. So I have my design here and I need to actually get it so it's going to be sewing in that area here. But remember we kind of rotated that a little bit. So I'm going to do a right mouse button. I'm going to select properties and that number we wrote down, which was 349. I'm going to do OK and I'm going to move that into place. So he's really right in that area. And if I need to, I can zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make sure he's there. Now there's going to be stitches that are going to sew all the way around the outside edge. But now I can sew my library design first, then add my batting and get the quilting done. And then we're going to do the rest of the design. So hang on a second. We're going to zoom back out, zoom to fit. And now I want to add Happy Easter over here. I'm going to go to the letter tab. And the font I wanted to use was Rosemary. And I can't remember where it is. So I'm just going to click on here. I know it's Rosemary. I'm going to do Font Manager. And I'm going to look for Rosemary. And I'm going to do Enter. And the one I want is this top first one. And I'm going to do close and I'm going to do happy Easter. And I don't want anything selected. Otherwise it's going to go to the bottom of this. So I'm just going to do happy Easter. Now, one of the things that I wasn't, I, it's kind of personal preference. I decided to sew this whole thing out, but if you notice, those are actually, I'm going to go real close. There's actually two colors to it, and it kind of gives it kind of a 3D look, but if you want to get rid of that second color, you that actually it's the first color that sews out, you can do that, but we're not going to do that here. So now I'm going to zoom back out. I have that where I want it. Now I want to add that little border in here, so I'm going to go to the frame. And I'm going to choose a flourish and you could choose anything you wanted. Um, it's personal preference. It doesn't really matter what it is. And I want it to actually sew across here. So I don't want anything selected. I'm going to hit apply and look, it's really, 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 really big. And I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to squash it down a little bit and squash it down a little bit. And because these are green, remember when you do that, it's going to allow you to do that really nicely. And I don't like that one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to go pick on another one. Um, you could get really fancy. I'm going to do apply. Again, you need to get it just a little bit smaller. Place it about where you want it. That's going to be your personal preference of where you want it. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to sew, sew the whole thing together. What's going to happen is you're going to sew the library design onto your fabric and stabilizer. Then you're going to slide a piece of batting underneath and you're going to do all the quilting. And then you're going to sew the Happy Easter and then you're going to sew the little flourish up here. And then the last thing we need to do is we're going to lay two pieces of fabric on top of everything so that we can flip it around. So I'm going to the quickest way to do that is we're going to go in here and we're going to click on border. Make sure nothing is selected. And I'm going to just choose, I want a triple stitch because I want everything to sew really, really well together. And I'm going to put in a negative one. So what that will do is it will actually sew a stitch that's just inside my sewing area of my hoop. And I'm going to do apply. And there it is. So let's watch this sew out. We're going to go to the sewing area video and we're going to sew. see how it's going to sew the library design first. It's going to do all my quilting and then it's going to do my happy Easter and the flourish up at the top and then it'll sew that last part together. So it's really important that you do that. Um, 
in that order. Now, you could, if you wanted to, instead of having Happy Easter so after the quilting, you could actually move that and make that all part of your first part of the design, but that's personal preference. So um, I hope I see some samples of this and have fun with it. Thanks.